Hey, what's up folks? In my experience, most government software projects fail. And by fail, I don't mean they fail to deliver anything or that the project manager ran off with all the project money and, and your dog. I mean, they deliver something that sucked and that's never anyone's goal going into this sort of thing. And one of the reasons I found that this happens and this particularly affects you know, GIS data science-y kinds of things is not that people aren't doing enough, it's that they did too much. They delivered something wildly inappropriate for the audience they're, they're building something for. And this is a very tempting thing when you make software. Because if you know a really cool thing, it just yells at you in the back of your head all day, do it, do it, put it somewhere, do it, do it. And it's always, almost always a really bad idea. And I've been doing this stuff a long time and I still do this. I was doing this yesterday, which made me think of it. I was taking one of our websites, which has this community section, just ignore that chart for now. And it used to just come up with this table and it goes for your neighborhood and the city of Charlotte and Mecklenburg County. Here's where you are on a bunch of metrics like bicycle friendliness. Here's how that's changed over time in these little sparkline charts, which are in the visual hierarchy high enough to be interesting, but not so high that they're distracting. Um, and it, it just did that. And you had the option to show a, you know, popped up, you know, whirly map to see what the whole county looks like. And you can just spin it like a disco ball if you want. That's what it was. And I had this wild thought I thought well, it'd be really cool if people could see whether two particular metrics are correlated with each other. And it might be really cool to do that with a dual access chart. And whenever in your life you think dual access chart, you've gone wrong somewhere. But it's what I was thinking. So I built this thing where you could have one particular focus metric and then you could look at, you know, a whole bunch of other different metrics. And it would fill in years, so if, if this metric didn't have the same years as the other one, you could still kind of see what's going on. It's, I mean, it kind of does my goal. You can see what's, uh, well, those would be perfectly correlated because they're the same. Huh. Kind of does my goal because you can, you can compare things and you can compare two different metrics and the trends in those over time because one of these axes is set to the values for one of these things, and the other one's set to the other one. So I thought this was really cool until I had lunch. Then I came back from lunch a little bit more clear headed and I looked at it and I hated everything about it. And the reason is, is for the audience for this website, this is a terrible idea. They don't want this. They can't use this. It's, it's wrong. It is just wrong for this site. I mean, these are folks that are on their phone going, Hey, here's where I live. When's my trash getting picked up? It's for those folks that just need some information. They're not here to do data analysis. <laughs> they just want to know some stuff. So this was a terrible idea. So I took this code and I kind of tossed it in my, my dead ideas bin. And I just scrubbed the site. It's like, you know, half a day of, you could call it wasted time, I suppose. But my point in telling you about this is that in, in government, when we make software in government, and particularly when we do GIS website-y kind of software, we are guilty of putting way too much on there. There is way too much. And we lie to ourselves a bit. We say, you know, 1% of the users will find this great and the rest of them will just ignore it. So for them, it's neutral. And that's wrong. I mean, if I hold my finger an inch from your nose and say, hey, you know, just ignore it. You can't because it's an inch from your nose. You can't ignore these things that are coming into your senses. And this whole big chart here in the visual hierarchy, you're going to come here, scroll down, and then they're going to get lost right about here because they don't know what to do with this. And why would you know what to do with this? This is crazy data science -y stuff. And it's the same thing when you make a, a big 
website with a with a map and 38 buttons and if you put in Google Analytics track when each one of these buttons are hit you'll find almost none of them are, are ever used by anyone those things don't are not passively making the site good for some folks and just neutral for others it's making the site worse for everybody that's using the site so that's my little story I just wanted to share that with you because I usually talk about things I've done or am doing or checking out this is about something I didn't do and why you might want to think about that kind of thing when you're building your own sites that's all I got for you. It's a quick one. I hope everyone is surviving the apocalypse. Uh, I'm doing just fine, uh, more or less. Uh, so I, I apologize for not posting stuff uh, very frequently, but yeah, it's a weird time. Yeah. Next year starts. I hope to be able to post more often, and I hope you folks are doing great and are surviving, and things will get better next year, because man, did this year suck. I'll catch you later. Bye-bye.